Hey guys, how's it going? The real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today with a Pokemon sales data video. I'm sorry for the crazy hair. It's been a crazy couple of days. Check out my new Bowser jacket. It's so badass. Anyway, let us jump right into it. We have a lot to go over here. Uh, from base set, we have a Machamp first edition PSA 10, sold for $5,300. A Mewtwo first edition PSA 8. These are all first edition, by the way. Uh, sold for $1,175. A Venusaur PSA 9, sold for $6,900. Nice. I love it when things go 69. We have a Pokemon box uh, with the Green Wing Charizard, sold for $27,300. Arcanine PSA 9, sold for $321. Uh, Charmander PSA 9, sold for $560. Squirtle PSA 9, sold for $610. Squirtle got the better of Charmander there. And a Blastoise PSA 10, sold for $27,300. Hell of a retrace. Um, we're looking at about probably about $20,000 it had retraced. The Nine is probably getting about anywhere between 10 and 14 right now, where it was up to about 20 about a month ago. Moving on to Fossil, we have an Aerodactyl pre release, PSA 9. Again, these are all first edition. Uh, sold for 208. A Zapdos, PSA 9, sold for 309. Lapras, PSA 9, sold for 348. Dragonite, PSA 9, sold for 820. It's a little low. Uh, Boltrace, PSA 10, sold for 1582. And a Dragonite, PSA 9, sold for 900. $80. Just checking my uh, Instagram there. I have just $20,000 left on that Trophy Kangaskhan, and it is all mine. Uh, Jungle. We have a Scyther BGS9, so for $255. Again, that is first edition. Gym Challenge. These are all first edition. Uh, we have literally like a page just of Gym Challenge. Misty's Gold Duck PSA9, so for $238. I think that's very low considering the 10 just sold for $4,100. Uh, Blaine's Charizard PSA 9. There's so many of these. There's so many PSA 9s that have been uh, bought and sold over the last week. Um, again, this is just for the last couple days. One sold for two grand. Uh, another one sold for twenty six twenty. Uh, Giovanni's Machamp first edition PSA 10 sold for fifty six hundred. Brock's Nine Tails PSA 10 sold for seven hundred nineteen. Uh, the Machamp and the Nine Tails, I think those are record price points. Lieutenant Surge's Raichu nine hundred fourteen, I think, is record as well. Blaine's Charizard PSA 8 only sold for $1,025. Uh, I think that was just a weird auction. Uh, Blaine's Rapidash, uh, first edition PSA 10, sold for $80. So we have a Blaine's Charizard first edition PSA 9 and a Blaine's Charizard Japanese PSA 10 that sold for $3,800. Uh, again, the Blaine's Charizard the PSA 10, that was Japanese. We have a Blaine's Charmander, Blaine's Charmeleon, and a Blaine's Charizard, all PSA 9, sold for $2,425 total. Uh, Giovanni, just the hollow himself, first edition PSA 10, so over 221. I just added a couple of these, like, like I said, uh, um, Blaine's Rapidash, and this one is Brock's Dugdrio, first edition PSA 10, so over 76. Just so you get a look at what some of the other rares are selling for, uh, depending on the card. Some can sell a lot, like uh, Sabrina's Gengar can sell for $400, others can sell, you can still get for under, first edition PSA 10 for under $100. Uh, Misty's Gyarados, PSA 9, so over 355. Blaine's Charizard, or um, First edition PSA 10 sold for $9,300. That's something that, that was not a PWCC auction. That was higher than the PWCC auction. So I, normally I would say if you're going to sell something, sell a PWCC, even though they'll give you a, they would give you a large, I would say, I think they charge up to like 8%. I think to sell, uh, to sell with them, that's what they take as their premiums. They're like, okay, for us... But I think it's worth it because they have such a higher buy pool, especially for high ticket items like this. You get the cross collectors from art, you get the cross collectors from sports, whether it's baseball, basketball, uh, football, whatever, and then you just get cross collectors from other stuff such as later up, such as you know like war war coins or just war memorabilia. So you get all these cross collectors that are in there, and they see something like a Charizard, they don't know exactly if it's base set, if it's uh, dark Charizard, whatever. They just see Charizard. And there's a chance that they might like, oh, go, go for it. Sabrina's Alakazam, PSA 9, so for 270. Rockets Mewtwo, PSA 9, so for 456. Giovanni, another one, PSA 10. This one sold for 380. So that was, yeah, that's a lot more than the 221 that just sold for like a couple hours prior. Blaine's Arcanine, PSA 9, so for 760. Um, that's a little weird considering that we have a. We've had others sold for over a thousand dollars, and if it's sold for over a thousand dollars, then you're looking at you know like a thirty percent retrace in this. So whoever got that, good on you. Koga's Ditto first edition PSA tens over five seventy seven. Sabrina's Alakazam PSA tens for eleven sixty one. 
and then we had a nine sell for 270, so that makes that. sense. Yeah. Actually, let me, let me do the math on this real quick. So if we have 1161, and we divide that by five, 232, so it, it's just under that five to eight rule that we said, where the 10 sells for five to eight times what the nine does. So that nine might be a little undervalued, should be about 300. Uh, and then we have a Koga's Ditto uh, for position PSA 10. Uh, that sold for 577. That's a record price point as well. Blaine's Charizard PSA 8. This is another. It sold for 696 dollars. This must have been the most disgusting PSA 8 in history. <laughs> uh, Giovanni's Gyarados position PSA 9. This one is interesting because it's 430 dollars. That's what it sold for. So if we take 430 and we times it by five, it's 2,150 dollars. That's probably what uh, Giovanni's Gyarados should. I honestly think it should be a little higher, just because it's it's a Gyarados, it's Giovanni's. Um, his cards just have wicked good artwork. Like the Persian has good artwork. The Nido King is fan freaking tastic. You know, that that is my that is one of my favorite cards in the set. I love the whole set. Um, then we have a Koga's Ditto PSA nine, so for one fifty four. And Giovanni's Gyarados is also like a hundred like hundred and thirty PSA ten copies. So there's not a lot of copies out there. Sorry. Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. Uh, PSA 10 sold for 138. Uh, Sabrina first edition PSA 10 sold for 415. Almost done. Almost done with gym challenge. Giovanni's Persian PSA 9 sold for 255. Hell of a retrace with that as well. Brock's Nine Tails PSA 9 sold for 221. Another Mystic Gold Up PSA 9 sold for 305. Again, I think that's undervalued. Giovanni's Magic Heart PSA 10 sold for 66. I, I just, it's a cool card. Okay, so we are two pages in. We have like two and a half, three pages left. Uh, Neo Destiny. Shining Mewtwo PSA 9 sold for two grand. Okay, all right. Another Shining Mewtwo PSA 9 sold for 1550. I was like, okay, that, that, that's a little low considering the PSA 10 sold for $5,400. Shining Raichu PSA 9 sold for 896. Very, very low. Again, considering the PSA 10 sold for over $4,000. Shining Charizard PSA 10 sold for 16877 that is a $9,000 dip from the $25,100 it sold for at uh, PWCC Auction. That's why I say if you're going to sell something, high ticket item. Unless you know like it's a good deal and you know you're doing something like cash in person, like I'm doing Trophy Kangaskhan, best bet is probably to go to PWCC because most times stuff like that, you'll get the cross collectors. Now, a bunch of Lugias um, from Neo Genesis. We have PSA 8, so over $21.76. Another PSA 8, so over two grand. PSA 7.5, so over 15.26. Then we have a T17, Typhlosion number 17, the one with the better artwork, one that is a lot harder to grade, it's a lot rarer. PSA 9, so over 6,100. Uh, a little bit of retrace, I think the one that PWCC is over 6,400. Um, now the people are trying to sell it for like 9 grand, 10 grand. It's like, which, to their credit, if you're looking at a PSA 10, which someone's trying to pay, you know, 17, 18 thousand dollars for, and they're not getting any bids. You're probably going to have one that's going to sell for 30, 40 grand, and then this will all make sense, um, just in my opinion. Lugia, PSA 8.5, so for $3,050. Uh, another T17, 8.5, sold for $1,189. Uh, a Pikachu PSA 9, so for $530. A T18, the one with the less, art, um, less desirable artwork, in my opinion, for a Typhlosion, so for $830. Another T18, PSA 9, so for $772. For Alligator number four, this is one with the not as good artwork. It's much more common, uh, at least to, to grade. It's easier to grade than the, for Alligator number five. This PSA nine sold for five fifteen, and the number five PSA nine sold for like six forty a couple days ago. So I, I think that that dip that you saw with the PSA five going from like nine hundred down to like six forty by the dip. That's what I would do. Another Lugia PSA seven sold for twelve hundred dollars. Gym Heroes. We have a Brock PSA 10, so for $3,110. That is a record price point for Brock at this point. A Misty PSA 10, so for $432. Lieutenant Surge, first edition PSA 10, so for $1,825. Again, that Brock. So the that PSA 9 should minimum be $3,100. Plains Moltres PSA 9, so for $490. That makes a lot of sense because you saw one sell for $5,400. And another one prior to the PWCC auction sell for about five grand. So yeah, 490 makes sense. Should be a little little bit more up, but that's a good price point for now. Erica's Vileplume PSA 9 so for 145. Lieutenant Surge's Pharaoh PSA 9 so for 212. 
Erica's Dragonite PSA, I'm sorry, Dragonair PSA 9, so 412. There's another one on auction right now, a PSA 10. I can't wait to see what that goes for. I have one myself. Uh, and another Blaine's Moltres. This is a BGS 9.5. This sold for 1535. Um, I think this, yeah, I guess this probably be a little bit more closer to two grand just because, yeah, you know, it's 9, 9.5 usually gets about half what the 10 gets. 10 got 54. Yeah, so maybe a little bit higher. So whoever got that, good on you. It's a great deal. Neo Rev, there wasn't much. Uh, we just had a Celebi PSA 9, so for 306. And a Raichu PSA 10, so for 159. Good stuff. Yeah. I'm not sure that Raichu is, his Raichu is in Neo Rev. I think that just might be a, a, a wrong one. So moving on to Rocket Set, there's a bunch here. We have a Dark Charizard line, so a Charmander, Charmeleon Charizard. PSA 9, so for $1,500. They're all for such a PSA 9. Rainbow Energy PSA 10, so for 1803. This is like the kind of like the Neo Genesis Metal Energy, where that sells for like 2900. Um, this Rainbow Energy PSA 10, obviously not as rare as the Metal Energy, but still sold for 1803. It's a record price point. Dark Air, Dark Arados PSA 10, sold for 780. That is incredibly low, and I'll tell you a reason why later. Uh, another Dark Charizard PSA 10, another retrace down to 5385. It bounced. It was at five grand. That was the lowest, and you know, in recent months, and then you know it bounced around. So it might be retesting those lows. Dark Alakazam PSA nine sold for two forty six. Dark Dugtrio PSA nine. I love Dark Dugtrio's artwork. It's so good. I just have to every time I see it, it's like, oh, this is great. Uh, that one sold for one seventy three. This go Dark Gyarados PSA nine sold for nine hundred thirty dollars. That's why I do not understand why someone sold their Gyarados PSA ten. For seven hundred and eighty dollars, maybe there's something wrong with it. Don't know why, but the nine got more than the ten. Uh, Dark Hypno PSA nine is for two eleven. Dark Magneton PSA nine is for three hundred five. Dark Vileplume PSA nine is for one ninety eight. I love the guy that's selling these, like zesty Dark Vileplume, or just throws a lot of character in there. I like it. Another Dark Charizard PSA ten sold for fifty six hundred dollars, so that has been increasing slightly. Five grand, fifty three hundred, fifty six hundred. It definitely not what it was at PWCC auction at the peak, where it's selling over ten grand. Uh, PSA 9 Dark Zard sold for fourteen seventy five. dollars uh, Another a Dark Blastoise PSA 9 sold for $626. Uh, moving on to Sky Ridge. All right, we're almost done, guys. Sky Ridge. Macargo PSA 9 sold for $134. Magneton H18 PSA 9 sold for $193. And a Magneton H19 PSA 9 sold for $156. I like the H19 artwork better. It's just much more hollow, much more in your face, which I enjoy. But it's not getting a. Um, I think there's more of them because the 9, that one sold for less than the 18. Moltres PSA 9, so for 480. Needle Queen PSA 9, so for 209. I love that artwork as well. Polyswine PSA 9, so for 164. Polytoad PSA 9, so for 326. Uh, Polyrath PSA 9, so for 256. Dart, uh, a Charizard Reverse Hollow from Sky Ridge, so for 1496. And a Hollow Charizard from Sky Ridge PSA 10, so for $21,700. A little bit of a retrace, so for $25,100 back in uh, a week ago at PWCC. So for got, whoever got this, great deal. You got it at a four grand discount. Uh, Gold Stars, we only had two. We had a Raikou PSA 10, 12.75. Charizard PSA 10, this is another uh, retrace. This Gold Star Charizard back at PWCC last week. Sold for $25,100. This one sold for $20,257. Last section of which I want to go over, there's only a couple. There's a Balloon Pikachu. This is a Promos from 1997. There was a Glossy Pikachu PSA 8, sold for $77. The... PSA 10, I think, sold for five grand a couple weeks ago. So uh, getting an eight at 77 is fantastic. And then we had a Masaki Machamp PSA 9, so for 410. And something I want to bring up, there's no sale on it, but SM Pratt did a video saying that, you know, 2001 Tropical Wind PSA 9, there's only three of them in the world. He has that. He has it listed for a million dollars. He doesn't know actually what he'd take for it. If someone offers $500,000, yes, that is a nice amount of money but that's also a card he's never going to get back so promo something like if some again i paying eighty thousand dollars for that trophy kangaskhan which is crazy at the time the last two sold for 150 and 150.1 someone if someone offers me 250 for it i don't know if i can take it because there's none listed there for that price if i were to get that i triple my money inside of uh, you know four or five months but I will never get that card again. If I sell it for 250, I am definitely never getting that card again. Maybe someone that has it on 
S M Pret has has his for five hundred K or best offer, and the other person has theirs for like two sixty three. I saw mine for two fifty. You'd be damn sure that guy from the UK that has it for two sixty three is gonna up it to like three fifty, four hundred. I, I will never get it for that price again. I, I cannot justify spending a quarter million dollars on a Pokemon card, even though kind of you know, throughout all the years, maybe that adds up. So if something is rare, it's old, a lot of people want it, insane artwork, it's something where you just hang on to them, because uh, the, I feel like those are only going to go up. Uh, again, it's 250 grand for me, if I were to be offered that, that is I, I, kind of life-changing money. I could do that and, uh, you know, buy a house, I could buy a house outright in cash if I go to like the Poconos, can't do that where I live on Long Island, New York. But if you, yeah, again, I, I don't want to. The, the nostalgia and the artwork and the feeling that I get when I look at it is more important than okay. what a quarter, later look, would be more important to me than a quarter million dollars. Because, again, I will never get that card again, at least not in that grade. Maybe I can get it in another card. But that's it, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. I love, I love you all. Yes, yes, Patreon, yes. Thank you, Lou. Thank you for that. I will link it below.